This is a photoresistor, an LDR, light-dependent resistor, a resistor that depends on light, where the resistance intensity depends on the light that is exposed, making it a variable resistor. How does it work? When there is more light, the resistance is lower. When it's darker, the resistance is higher. This component is constructed with a semiconductor material highly resistant. On the top of the component we have the resistor and the connection with two wires. It doesn't matter the orientation of the connection because the resistor works the same way both ways. The resistor has a band to transport electricity and that is how it defines the resistance so we have a band and the electrons spread over the material that are needed to be organized on the band to allow the conductivity of the electricity. The spreading of the electrons will determine the resistance. So inside the resistor we have a band and the electrons to transport the electricity. When the light hits the photoresistor, the photons excite the electrons that are organized on the transporting band, allowing it to transport more electricity. In the absence of light, for example, at night, there are less photons to organize the electrons, so the electrons get further from the transporting band. And when the transporting band has less electrons, it will carry less electricity, increasing the resistance. More light means more conductivity of the electricity, so less resistance. Less light means less conductivity of the electricity, so higher resistance. Now I'm going to do a demonstration using this photoresistor while measuring its resistance. I'm going to make this demonstration measuring the resistance with a multimeter. I'm going to use two alligator probes to connect to the photoresistor. I'm going to change the scale of the ohmimeter to 2000 ohms. I connect the probes to each wire of the photoresistor. And we can see in this moment, with this light intensity, it is around 900 ohms. I change the scale to 20,000 ohms. And when I start to cover the photoresistor with my hand, I can see that the resistance is increasing and when I take off my hand the photoresistor gets light and the resistance gets lower. Now if I use a cloth to cover the photoresistor I'm covering more light so the resistance increases and I have to change the scale to 200,000 ohms so I can do a higher measurement. It reaches the 200,000 ohms so I change the scale to 2 million ohms and I can see then when I cover it reaches 500, 1 million and with this ohmimeter I can measure up to 2 million ohms. And when I start to uncover I can see the resistance start to decrease.
and to have a bigger precision, I changed the scale back to 2000 ohms. Now I'm going to use a flashlight to change the resistance. When I approach the light, I can see that the resistance starts to decrease around 800, 500, 400. And when I approach the photoresistor even closer to the light, I can make the resistance go down to 170 ohms. And when I take out the flashlight, the resistance goes up again. So I can change the resistance of this photoresistor with natural light or artificial light. Now I'm going to make a demonstration using natural light. I'm going to move this circuit closer to a window where there is sunlight and further from the window where it is darker. I'm now away from the window and I can see the resistance is around 5000 ohms and when I get closer to the window the resistance gets lower 3000, 2000 and in the sunlight it reaches 200 ohms and if I go away the resistance starts to go up if I go back again the resistance goes down Now I'm going to change the scale of the ohmimeter to 2 million ohms because I'm going to move this circuit to an area with no light. And we can see the resistance is going up now in a scale of 2 million ohms. We can see 500,000, 1 million ohms. And here in completely darkness it reaches the maximum of the scale with million ohms and when I start to going back to the window the resistance is going down now around 10,000 ohms and with sunlight I have to change again the scale to 20,000 ohms and in the window it's around 3.5 thousand ohms Now I'm going to leave the circuit closer to the window where the sun is strong and we can see the resistance is very low closer to the 110 ohms I can change the scale to 200 and we can see the value of the resistance with precision because there are some clouds in the sky Maybe we don't notice the changing of the light, but the photoresistor has a precision so high that it can measure the variation of the light. A few minutes later. Now the sky has more clouds, and we can see when the clouds are passing. We cannot see the variation of the light, but the photoresistor is making the ohmimeter change its variation in around 30 ohms just because of a cloud in the sky. Now I'm going to record a time lapse. I'm going to change the scale to 2000 ohms because the intensity of the light is big. And I'm going to use a clock so we can see the time passing and the values of the resistance changing over time. With this time lapse, we can see there are variations of the intensity of the light, and those variations correspond to the value of the resistance in the ohmimeter.
a few hours later. The sky is completely open with no clouds. And in this time lapse of 30 minutes, we can see the variation of the resistance is very low. Because there is no clouds, the intensity of the light that hits the photoresistor changes very little. A few minutes later. In this time lapse, we can see when the sun is setting behind the houses, the value of the resistance continues to go up. And in the moment the sun gets behind the houses, it stops eating the photoresistor and the resistance increases even faster, continuing to go up while the sun is going down. Sometime later. Now it's seven in the afternoon. The sun is almost completely set. The variation in the resistance increases almost 10 ohms every second, being at this moment around 5,000 ohms. Let's continue with the time lapse while the sun is going down and the value of the resistance is going up even faster. It is now 7.05 in the afternoon, so the sun is behind the houses and the values of the resistance are going up even faster because it's getting darker faster. Now it's so dark that I can't even see the values in the ohmmeter. But if I turn on the display, we can see that it's above 140,000 ohms. And it is getting higher. A few hours later. Now it's night time. We can see that the resistance it is at 1.7 million ohms. 1.8 million, 1.9 million. And when it reaches the maximum 2 million ohms, it shows the value 1 because it reached the maximum on the scale. But now if I turn on a flashlight, I can make the values of the resistance going down again. The values are going down to 800,000, 500,000, and are going down while I approach the flashlight to the photoresistor. That, in this condition, can reach 2,000 ohms with this artificial light. And when I make the light go away, the values of the resistor start going up again. If you like this video, 
subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and write a comment about what you thought about this project and I see you on the next project.